right, folks, guess who has the day off? <laughs> day off means we go to the bins. I just, she's my boss. She just calls, she says we're going. But there's no carriages. That's not good. That means it's very busy. Okay, Kim's on the stationary hunt for me. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. I love it. These are all Stampin' Up, which I spent so much money on back in the day. Oh, now, they're not great. I know there are some cute ones that maybe if I write thank you cards or things like that. I think I'm going to piece together something just for yeah. me and not for Risa. But the thank you would be nice. The thank you would be cute, but I can just stamp on well, items. Well, because weren't you talking about yeah. like using paper bags yes. for wrapping? So you Absolutely. could just stamp. She's the best. Thank you. That's what I just said to Kim. I said, Kim, you're a great friend. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put together a batch before they're switching over right now, so we're just killing time. It was a pretty slow day due to the lack of rotations and the bins being picked over, so I decided to venture over to Hard Goods. I found this brass ruler. Now it looks pretty beat up right now, but when I saw the comps, I was really excited, and I will talk more about that during the haul, so be sure to stay tuned. It has been forever since I came into the real Goodwill um, attached to the Goodwill outlet, but uh, the bins are super picked over and we're in between rotations. So Kim is holding down the fort and I decided to take a peek over here. It's really been a while. Now that I'm so into stationery and planning and fountain pens, I am always looking for stuff. This would be a good pen hold. But I just bought a bunch. been going through so many sheets of paper practicing with my fountain pens I kind of just want to have a notebook that I can just you know doodle in not to be confused with my seven planners that I use these are both really cute Treasure chest. Yes, Kim. but it has, oh, it's like brand oh, new and it has keys. keys in it. What are you going to put in there? I have no idea. I just thought it was interesting. It so is very interesting. We had to grab it because really it was cute. interesting. It's cute. Yes. Um, I oh, I like this wooden. Yes, I love the wooden spoon. Every Italian needs like 70 of yes, when we're making sauce. Off, even though it's inclined, it's a little. Yeah. It's got some fun. I do like this for Lulu Marie. Yes. I love that it clips. I will just keep this in my car. Love that. So cool. Like the little etching in each domino. Yes. Do you guys play dominoes? Um, no, but I'm sure Daniel would. Like he's, and he loves like older games. That's really cool. I wonder if there's a year on here. Chicago, awesome products. It's, it's full set too. Yes. That's really interesting. I wanna look those up. I found this coach bag, which is really interesting. It's all scratched up, but it's pretty cool. The detail is amazing on it. I love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, it's definitely well loved, but I'm still taking it home with me. Fit's so slow today, but we do love Ernie. So I found cute. a hand knit Ernie. He's gonna come home with me. I like that. Yeah. This is like a new with tag champion. I love that pattern. That's yeah, it's so pretty. Fun. Kim found this fun, like Adidas running vineyard vines. Uh, this is like a dead stock sweater 100 percent cotton i think that's kind of cool kim found new with tag j crew for me it's j crew outlet but the price tag on it is 69 dollars. we'll take that oh this this was right at the beginning some airy sweats that just look super comfy oh they do they're so comfy but they're a little uh they're a little warm between the legs and this was airy too I mean, if I, I don't have a whatnot show scheduled right now, so I'm trying to, this is Chico's, but it's lace and I don't love it. I'm gonna put that back. You found this, Kim. Yeah. Victoria's Secret, that was good. 
pretty slim pickings so far. I think we might go get lunch and then come back. I feel like our moment is waiting for us. We haven't hit our stride yet. This is American Eagle. I don't know, I'm just not feeling inspired. I think that's so rose. cute. Yeah, that's just like a cute crop. It's kind of. But it's definitely just like, you know, yeah, TJ Maxx and pretty worn. Pretty I think I'm feeling selective is what yes. I'm trying to say. I think I'm putting all these back. Okay. Uh, what else? I think I'll put the Life is Good back. Yeah. back. Oh, this is a free people sweater I grabbed. I do like that. I'm gonna put that in my cart. Um, what else in here is mine? What about the Toad? Oh, Toad & Co. I think yeah. I'll grab that for guys. Okay. I, I don't love selling button-down shirts, but I'll look up the comps on that. That's Lucky Brand, but it came out of a really smelly bin. Oh, and it's kind of ripped right here. All right. And it's a smaller there we size. Go. Um, I that's for school. These are Kim's. Nope, this is not me. This is you. Oh, this Thrasher. Okay, so I don't know much about this brand. I think I've picked it up once before, but this is on, this is a knockoff because I believe this is its own brand, you know? So I think I'm going to put that back. I mean, this is not like any fancy brand, but it is an extra large. It's just a Macy's brand and it's super lightweight. So I think that might be a nice thing. And I think that will look pretty, that'll photograph well, I think. I do like those vans. I'm going to grab those. Those are in good shape, right? I think they're cute. Yeah, I those just are love really the cute. Um, jewelry. I, I think I'll pass on that. Okay. Bones. That, that is yours, right? No. I oh no, I'm yeah. okay. Ooh, look at us sorting, I'm so proud of us. Oh, what is this that you oh, found? I wanna yes. show that. This weighs a thousand pounds, so make it sure that goes in separate. It weighs a thousand pounds. It is a mortar and pestle, and it's the original, I'm sorry, I'm blind. The original Mason Cash. That's awesome. So it's from England, yes. quality English ceramic. Wow, very Heavy. cool. Cool, gorgeous. Yep. Oh, I thought this was really cute, just for like a little giveaway. I don't know, I'm just throwing, I realize she's broke. Okay. This is most definitely my find of the day, and I'm very excited. And it's nothing I would ever pick up, and it doesn't take a lot of room in my bag. We left, I picked you up at 9.15. We yes. Were, but it's been two and a half hours. They've changed clothing once and hard goods once since yep. we've been here. It's brutal. It's brutal. It's sad yes. in our little carts. It is. This is not a full cart kind of a day, no. but the day is young. No, it is. I'm just wondering if we check out and come back, but as Kim says, the second we leave. But I don't know. I'm pretty freaking excited about my ruler. Kim. No, I love your ruler. I love your coach bag. I love my coach bag. I love my mortar and pestle. Yeah. So, so you know. And my, and my dragon dominoes. We'll wait a couple more minutes. Like everybody's just waiting around. First round, only 15 pounds, $30. We're swapping out the bins. This is the last rotation of the day. When Kim and I went for lunch, of course, bins came out with all new stuff from Macy's. And someone was kind enough to give me some, and I found a couple, but I think we missed a really crazy rotation. I'm so sad. Oh, we need some light over here. It's getting a little dark. The older I get, the more lighting I need. How are we doing? Okay. Better, better. Hi, hello. I'm just back from the salon, and so I still think I might have a little color on my forehead, but not bad. Welcome back to another haul video. You probably already watched the beginning where I went thrifting with my good friend Kim. We went to the New Hampshire Goodwill outlet where I buy things by the pound. At my location, it's $2 per pound for textiles and shoes. We went on Veterans Day because Kim had the day off. It was rough, but per usual, I feel like as I go through my stuff, I'm, I'm happy with what I found. I found a pair of Air Jordans. I'm not sure if I got them on film while I was shopping, but I wasn't sure if they were real, so I put up an Instagram poll and overwhelmingly my sneakerheads and friends out there reported back that they are probably real so I'm gonna go with that but I'll show you up close so we checked out twice so we arrived just before 10 a.m. and it was quarter of one and they had done one clothing rotation and it wasn't great so we were just kind of walking around in circles we were getting hungry we would kind of planned on staying for a good portion of the day so we decided to take a break so my first round um, I got exactly 15 pounds, so I spent $30 on the first round. 
And then we went back and the second round, I got 26 pounds and I spent $56. In total, I spent $86 and I got 41 pounds. The heartbreaker, of course, of this day, and Kim called it. She's like, you know when we leave, they're gonna bring a bin out as soon as we leave. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, but we were hungry. So we went and got subs and we got back and there was a woman who I had met um, oh, actually, shout out to the many friends who I saw on this day. I met three Jills who watch my channel, so thank you so much for watching. And one of the Jills I'm going to talk about later because she handed me a bunch of stuff. She was so sweet. There was a Kim and a Lori, which of course I remember because Kim and Lori. And I think there was a Paula. So shout out to all my friends who came up and said hello to me, who watch my channel. I love you guys and I appreciate you and your support. So when I came back from lunch, someone was in line and I'm like, how's it going? Did you find anything good? And I said, did we miss a rotation or something like that? And she's like, they brought out two bins full of new with tag items from Macy's. And she's like, it was a feeding frenzy. It was crazy, she said. Of course we left. I'm so upset. I don't even know what I would have gotten, but I, I have like the leftovers and I'm pretty happy with the leftovers. So I can't imagine what everybody else got. This would have been a lot more fun if I didn't leave to get lunch. Damn it. I grabbed these shoes. Kim actually tried these on. They look like dance goes. These are in immaculate condition. They're called Anywhere Clogs. And look at the color in this. They're like a a blackish purple. Um, I guess they're more purple, but in some lights, it's almost like a little iridescent sheen on them. I've actually started to slow down with purchasing clogs lately, only because I have a lot in stock and I feel like dance goes are moving much slower for me. So I haven't picked up many recently, although this morning I just sold a pair of cat clogs. <laughs> they were very unique. They sold for $51. These are size 10 women, size men eight. They're called Anywhere clogs and they're pretty lightweight. They're not heavy like dance goes. So I picked those up. These are the Air Force Ones in question. So I would love it if you guys wanted to weigh in as well. I'm feeling pretty confident about these. What happened was we were lucky enough to get to the bin before anybody else. And it was Kim and I side by side. So I grabbed one and I saw that they were Air Force Ones. And I'm like, Kim, grab that over there. I saw the other one, but look at it. They are like, and I have not touched these. Once I just go over these quickly, they are gonna, they are gonna look like brand new. They're in really excellent shape. The size is, hold on my friends. They are a size nine. I'm assuming that's men size nine, although I'm not positive. I'm assuming they're men. Here's the other one. So some of the things that led me to my decision is that it had this like Air Force One tag right here. I looked online and the base looks the same. There is a size and a skew on the inside. Um, there were some telltale things and I don't really think that these are super high value sneakers. They retail for 125 so these aren't like the type of Nikes like the really high-end ones that people are duping. These are really great. I'm just gonna wipe them up a little bit. I'll probably list them for maybe $75. They, they are in really great condition. That's gonna pay for a chunk of this haul, which would be awesome. Kim found this brand, The Sack, which um, I just sold a sack leather. It was leather tooling. It was really beautiful. That sold for $50 this morning. It's just heading out. The Sack is just like a solid, consistent brand. This is like their OG style purse. Uh, which is fabric, but it's like brand new. I don't know, this might be like $20, $25 sale. I'm not sure where I'll list that, but it was in great condition. I did find some nice handbags. I know that I featured this coach bag in the video, and this just has all the, the boho vibes. It has some scratches. It definitely has some wear on the leather, but I think that this bag is really unique. You can see all of the, the detail in the leather there. The strap is kind of cool. Some loose threads here. It's a little dirty on the underneath. I was actually surprised that I thought the comps were gonna be a little higher on this. I think the sold comps on these range from like 30 to 60 maybe, which I mean, I guess that's ballpark. I just thought this was really cool. This side is really interesting too. The coach tag has this really pretty contrasting stitching and then like the little, the little zip thing here. So I really like this bag. 
especially for bins pricing. So I grabbed that. Um, this is actually my favorite bag that I found. And from what I can see, it is unbranded. I just love these natural, this woven leather is just beautiful. I love how, you know, there are sections that are larger than other parts. Um, just really nice and it's kind of that broken in really soft beautiful leather the inside is nice and clean you know I always look for wear on the corners of my bags before I buy them and this one is just gorgeous I love this bag I love it. it's a great size there is a zipper on the back side so I don't know about this maybe I'll price this around $50 yeah I'm not seeing a brand but it's absolutely beautiful maybe I'll take um, a Google pick and see if I can find any more information on that and speaking of beautiful tooled leather I grabbed this and how beautiful is this bag? What's interesting about this is somebody grabbed it before me and they put it down and then I picked it up. And when I first saw it, this is all that I saw. So it looks like it's a little tarnishing right here with the green, but this tooled leather, this is very similar to the sack purse that just sold. There's the strap right here. It doesn't look like it's adjustable unless you can go like this. Maybe this will shorten it. Oh yeah, you can do this little sort of thing and shorten it this way. Oh, well, that's very cool. I have bracelets that do that. So I think the woman, I mean, maybe she just didn't want it, but the woman who had it in her hands before me put it down and then I grabbed it and I thought, oh, the clasp must be broken, but no, this actually, this piece actually pops down. You can also see where it's gray, green there. I'm gonna try to clean that up, but it goes like this and then this kind of fits through and then boom, this is not branded. It was just beautiful. Uh, this does show a little bit of wear on the inside, some marks, maybe some pen I definitely picked up on why the woman left this behind. You can see right there that the stitch on the side is ripped, unfortunately. Such a bummer. Pencil, straggler marks, but I thought this was a really cool bag. And yeah, I was excited to grab that. We had to bring Ernie home. I mean, somebody took time to create this little Ernie hat. I know I usually try on hats, but I don't think I'm gonna try Ernie on. Plus, I think it's made for kids. <laughs> Isn't he cute though? So I had to grab that. Sometimes I just look at things that were handmade and I'm like, I can't leave you here. Somebody put a lot of love into this. I, I tend to pick up Hallmark keepsake ornaments when they're in the box because there are so many collectors, but this is only a $10, um, I think the retail on it is $10. Yeah, $9.95. And it's just a little baseball one. When I looked at it, I'm like, oh, somebody named Joshua has to buy this and, and it's dated 2005, but no. If you go on the inside, it's, it's unused, which is what we're looking for. And it has like little stickers. So this is what the inside looks like. And then it has little stickers so you can put the date and name right on there, which I thought was super cute. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take that home. I mean, my Rocco played baseball for many years. I could always add this to the tree, but it's kind of a past moment. I'll probably sell it. <laughs> so cute. And you never know, like some of those go for a decent amount if they were a popular ornament. I don't think that's gonna resell for a lot. Um, these need a little bit of love, but these are vans and you're seeing them like right out of the bin, like I haven't done anything. What I'll usually do with shoes like this is for starters with suede, I like to um, lint roll it first and then go through and magic eraser along the, the edges of Vans and Converse works wonders. And I'm out of magic eraser, I need to get more. But see, you get a lot of, um, of the residue off here and then you clean up the edges. Usually on Vans, I look at the back right here and this always rubs off. It's, it's like a design flaw that that little bump always rubs off first but I mean these were in really good condition I thought they were unique they have that check with a little blue stripe through I wouldn't have picked these up outside of the bins but they're size 11 and a half and I thought they were unique enough if they bring me between 20 and 30 dollars from the bins just cost me a few dollars and yeah they tend to sell these are more vans these I thought were adorable these are little kid ones a little skater boy looking right so cute. What size are these? Uh, these are size US 6. The back of these vans are a little bit different, but I thought they were adorable. I think Kim grabbed both of the vans for me. So yeah, we love to sell vans and Converse from the bins that are in good condition. Kim also found these. She's such a great bins friend and friend in general. These are from LL Bean. Uh, these are kind of not your typical LL Bean boots in my opinion, but I thought they were really nice and they have this little suede uh, tie around in this fringe here. 
L.L. Bean shoes typically start at about $100 and go up from there. They're really great quality. The soles of these are in really great condition. The zippers on the inside work well. And what I liked about these is that it's like a really nice faux fur on the inside, if you can see it. Maybe not even faux. These are size eight and a half women. And so I'm thinking, pro <laughs> whoops, I'm thinking probably, um, I don't know, 40 to $60 for these I'll get. I think just my shoes alone would pay for this entire haul. I found a lot of items that were new with tag. Now this isn't like a huge haul because a lot of the things that I got from the Macy's round, uh, I got duplicates of. And they're not like these huge brands that are gonna sell for a lot, but let me just continue on with some of the non Macy's things I found. This I thought would be really fun for a live show. I don't currently have any live shows scheduled. I did do my training for um, Poshmark, but I haven't gotten a show on the schedule and I haven't made things for whatnot in the books yet either because I have Thanksgiving coming and all the kids are coming home in this upcoming week. So I'm just not like mentally there for a live show, but I think this would do really well live. But it says it's the most wonderful time of year, <laughs> which I thought was cute and it's brand new. I had a lot of new things this day. This is just like a little Vera Bradley um, wristlet. It kind of feels a little chintzy. I, I bet this was like a gift with purchase because there's no, well, maybe it looks like the price tag was pulled off, but um, anyway, it's a little wristlet, little keychain, which I thought was cute. You know why this seems so small? Because half the stuff is in the wash. This Kim found, and I love this, it's a J. Crew dress size 10, J. Crew factory, and the price tag is $69.97, and it's just a cute little dress. Definitely for the spring season, but it's got a little ruffle here, it needs to be steamed, but it's so cute. Kind of a little timeless piece, I think. The little V-neck in the front. Another new with tag item. That's probably why you're seeing all the new with tag stuff. I'm washing all the other stuff upstairs. This is the second video I have filmed today, so I'm a little confused here. Okay, so this is Hampton Bay Trading Company. It's got that old school cotton tag on it and it's dead stock. So dead stock is just an item that is new with tag, but it's no longer in circulation. It says Shirts Plus, that's the name of the store. Have you ever heard of that store? I've never heard of it. $34.99 was the price of this. And it's just like one of these grandpa sweaters. And I think it's really cute. Definitely unisex. I can picture this uh, just slouchy with a comfy pair of jeans or leggings and some nice fall boots, really cute. And new with tags. Another item that was new with tag. And this is a champion, it's an extra large. There's the tag. And here it is. It's just this graphic. I'm not sure what this graphic even is, but I'll come in. It's a really nice, it's that heavy, heavy cotton. The little graphic on it. It could be vintage, honestly. I don't know. That looks like an older tag to me. I totally forgot. This is like the star of the show. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting here. I'm like, I know there was something special about this haul. It's amazing how quickly I forget things these days. This is what will actually pay for this entire haul. Sarna Brass from India. Okay, I showed this in my video and I could not believe the comps. So I wanted to clean this with you. It's an all brass um, ruler and it is definitely discolored. So that might take away. So I saw one comp on eBay. Somebody else has something from this brand, a brass ruler on Etsy. This is the back of mine. So I don't know if you have any tips. I don't typically grab hard goods. And this was one of those days that I was just really struggling with the clothing. Although I'm pretty happy with my haul, but I think it was just the amount of time that I was waiting for a new rotation. So I went over to the hard goods and that's where I found this. And it was in the velvet pouch and I was actually just grabbing it to move it aside because it just, I mean, I'm not in the market for rulers. And then I noticed the weight of it. And then I noticed that it was brass. So I'm like, let me just look at this, which led to looking at the comps. And then, wow, who would think that a ruler would be so exciting? Okay, so I don't have any Brasso, but I have Barkeeper's Friend. One of the sites I went to said that this would work. So I dampened the cloth just a little bit. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Put this here. 
actually it doesn't. The part that I'm really concerned about is the back. If, you, if you're a person who really knows how to clean, clean brass, I'm sorry if this is terrible to watch me fumble my way through this. I'm just gonna, there are all those marks. Is it bringing it away? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like, oh, look at that. Yeah, look at my hands getting dirty, so it looks like it's wiping some of it away. I use this on my, um, I have like a copper pan and my Le Creuset. Kind of cleans it without too much work, but. Well, this is really, this is really <laughs> satisfying. I had no idea how I was gonna do this. I wing a lot of things. Oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Jay, you're not gonna believe this before and after. Okay, all this side needs a lot of love. See, this is number four. This has a lot of like grooves on this side, so probably should let that sit a bit. That is crazy. Let's turn it back. That was like round one. Look at how filthy my thing is. Okay, so I just rinsed it. And this is like just five minutes. Look at the difference. That is incredible. This is about the most gratifying thing I've done in a while. All right, I wanna work on these little spots, but I mean, generally speaking, that is fantastic. All right, we just made ourselves an extra 30 bucks. <laughs> I'm over in the natural light. Look at the difference. It looks really, really good. What a difference. That was very satisfying. You just never know what you can find at the bins. That's why I can never get enough. I have all this stuff here, so I'm gonna show you because I don't want you to think it's anything exciting because it's not that exciting, but it's exciting for me to have some new with tag items for the holidays. It's also exciting as a reseller who does not do liquidation to have multiple items, like multiple quantity, to be able to offer multiple sizes on a piece. These were just the singles. And all I can think of is, I can't imagine what was actually in those bins. So here's an example. So this is like, this is a one piece. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag. It's a men's onesie, like a fleece holiday fair aisle onesie for $39.99. This somebody, I don't know if this is one that was given to me by Jill. Jill, thank you so much. So right after I got back, it was like just past the craziness. But I noticed that some people had already started to throw some of the items back into the bin. So I was picking them up. I mean, I do live sales on whatnot. I'm hoping to start live sales on Poshmark. I can share things here on YouTube. So even if it's not a huge profit for me, Sometimes I'll still pick things up. This one I thought was really cute and I got a bunch of these. So I had found a couple on my own and then Jill came up to me and handed me, oh gosh, maybe eight or 10 items. She's like, I'm not gonna list these. And I thought it was so sweet of her. Thank you so much, Jill. People are so kind. Okay, so this is the brand, Jenny. This is the tag. Um, I thought this was really cute. It's a night shirt and it says, oh hey, vacay. And I think I got like four or five of these. So some of these Jill handed me and then a couple I found in the bins. I'm not sure which is which, but this is the type of thing that people were throwing back. Um, I imagine, my guess is that those Fair Isle pajamas, those men's, and a couple pairs that I'm about to show you, they're like the family pajamas. So my guess is that people went for those because you could do multiple quantities and you could you know, you could outfit an entire family for their holiday Christmas morning pajamas. So I think those are what went fast. And then a lot of these like little night shirts are what were what was left behind. So I thought these were really cute for like a bachelorette party. If like everybody in the bachelorette party wants to wear their oh hey vacay. Um, so one, two, three, four, Five. and the price tag on these was $25. So that's $125 retail. So this is that same brand, Jenny, and it's another night shirt, except there was no, no graph, no wording on this. So just striped and this is ribbed. Couple of those. These are the ones that I think probably went. These are 
Family PJs, $34.99. And this is a woman's extra, extra large. And it's plaid. I don't know if this is a night shirt or if it's, oh, it says two pieces. So it's probably a shirt and pants. And then these like kind of Hannah Anderson looking ones. Can you believe this? I can't believe Kim and I left for this. You win some, you lose some. And I don't even say that I lost because I got a lot of great things, but it would have been so much fun to get the footage of the the vultures, myself included, when all that stuff was brought out in the bins. Can you imagine two full bins of all new with tag items? It must have been crazy. This is more from the same brand uh, that Jenny, I'll show you really quickly. And I have a variety of sizes. I am gonna list these. Um, this is an extra large, but they're cute night shirts. And they're ribbed. This is kind of like a vanilla color. And it has this pretty stitching. And then these are matching shorts. I'm pretty certain that Jill gave me these. Um, these are a 1X. What's nice about a lot of these is that I got a lot in extra large and plus sizes, which made me really happy. This I actually pulled out of the bin and I was like, this is one of the prettiest things I think. It's a little cami set. For, and I love this brand from Macy's, INC. So this is priced at $34.99 new with tag and it's two piece it's the little lace cami and it's champagne with this really beautiful like gold it's a size large and then these matching shorts and they're so pretty with the little de lace detail in the front the problem with all of the stuff that i found is most of the people that grab this stuff are resellers so these are going to be all over the internet i'm sure these bras are beautiful too i think i got three bralettes from inc i love this brand um, $32.99 is the price on these and look at how beautiful this is. So there's the front lace and then look at the back. Isn't that beautiful? I think this is so pretty. And this is a size 2X, so I was really excited for all my plus size stuff. You know, this might be a $20 sale. Three bras, $60. I'm totally okay with that. I got uh, one more lace bra that's a size 2X and then I got a pink bra same style that is an extra large. Can you believe this is what everybody threw back? Can you even imagine? My gosh, if you were there that day <laughs> and you got some of the good stuff, let me know what you found. This is a 3X and it is so beautiful. And the price tag on this is $44.99. It's INC again, and it is a uh, romper. Isn't this so pretty? I love all the colors in here. I love the pink trim. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it has pockets, so nice in a 3X. I rarely find stuff in size 3X that I'm like really excited about. These two, you know the company Hue, H-U-E? Obviously a lot of these are like intimates and night, night stuff, so I don't know if they all were. But this says Ocalia, Ocalia. <laughs> so cute. And this is an extra large. I have two in a size extra large. Um, what else? Oh, this is a um, this is a caftan. Look at this with all the palm leaves on it. I would have gone crazy if I had gotten a lot of these. Very summery, obviously, but uh, what's the size on this? The price tag is $60 and the size is large extra large and i got two um two of these but not in the same pattern i got this palm one this really pretty coral blue and pink i think this is the same thing it's the same price same tag so i think that's another version of this so not bad and here are like all the blue ones left over and then just these little shorts. These were kind of random. I almost didn't take these. I think I'm gonna give these to Angelina. These are size medium and they're only $16.99 and it's just like these really lightweight shorts and Angie wears shorts to bed all the time. So I think I'm gonna give those to Angie. But that's everything that I got from that second round. So I'm glad we went back, sad we left, but grateful for the generous people, especially to you, Jill. Thank you so much for handing these over to me. And not everybody was looking for them. So some people threw some stuff back and I, I got lucky, I would say. I think if you just add up the retail value of these new attack items, we're probably looking at like $500 retail. Um, but you know, even if I make a quarter of that, I wouldn't be sad for what I paid. So that was the second round, but I am going to run upstairs and grab stuff from the wash to show you and I'll be right back.
All right, so I decided to have some lunch with Tina. I am back now. Um, I grabbed some stuff before it went into the wash and then I got some stuff that's fresh out of the wash. So these are my dirties still. This is a Kappa shirt and I got this the second part of the day and I was really happy to find this. This is like a street streetwear brand and I've done pretty well with this brand in the past, although the item that I think I sold most recently was a hoodie, more substantial than this piece. But um, I don't know, just at glance, maybe 20 to $30 for this little crop top. I think it's really cute. It's in excellent condition. It is a size extra small. Kim found this, but I do love to sell Victoria's Secret bras. The Victoria Sports ones in particular do pretty well. It's kind of got like the molded front. I don't think it's an underwire. No, there's definitely an underwire in there. And then the back has, you know, it's pretty strappy. I like, I love, of course, the, the pink and black combo. I thought this was really cute. If anybody is interested, this is a size. 34C. This was just um, a style-based pickup. It's the Urban Romantics, which I know I've seen this brand at TJ Maxx, but I thought this was such a cute little cottage core prairie shirt. I'm gonna some loose threads over here. That's all that is. It's just right at the seam with the smocking in the back, kind of boho and really cute. I think would look great under a cardigan sweater. This is a free people sweater. Not like a typical free people. I think it's an older style and it looks like a size small. It is long and fitted. I don't know that I would have grabbed this at a normal thrift store for thrift store prices, but definitely at the bins. Kind of untypical for free people to have like such a fitted sweater, but I do like these open knit sweaters. I think they look really cute uh, with camis underneath or like a sports bra. You can do like a pop of color underneath. There's something for everyone. And I think this is really cute. I just wanna make sure there's no holes. Yeah, no, it's just all this open knit, which I think is really pretty. Um, I'll try to find a stock photo on that for the listing because I do think that would help with this. And this is just a Vineyard Vines uh, guys pullover quarter zip. It's a really, it's in great condition from what I could see. It's a men's size large and it just has the a little quarter zip in the front. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's crazy. What Vineyard Vine sells for retail is insane. Their stuff doesn't always resell for the best. I say that all the time, but I still pick it up for the right prices. That's probably like a $30 flip. I'll take that. These are all the items that just came out of the wash. This is a Victoria's Secret bra and this is a size 40 double D and it's really pretty. I've got a lot of bras in this between the INCs and then the stuff that I found here. This is just a really pretty, like a cocoa brown with the lace right here. Light padding in this and then the underwire. Very nice. I'll keep these over here. Um, this is just an athletic shirt by Adidas. It's like the Clima Cool. Not my typical aesthetic, but I thought this was pretty cute, like a little tennis or a little golf shirt for women. And it's a quarter zip, it's a size medium. Yeah, it's Adidas Golf. So really cute. I thought that was nice. Um, and I think Kim found the next few items for me. This is a Tommy Bahama in a size medium. I think I'm gonna give this to Jay. This is a total Jay shirt, kind of basic. Um, I tend to not pick up Tommy Bahama unless it's one of the um, one of the Hawaiian shirts that has like a really loud print on the back. When it comes to Tommy Bahama, for me, it's a little bit like the Robert Graham theory, if you know that designer, the louder, the better. Um, and so these plain shirts don't always do so well. And I did notice that this had a little bit of um, like this pulling in the back. I'm definitely gonna give this to Jay. He won't mind that, it's in the back. Half of his calls, he's in like, sweatpants or shorts for his Zoom calls. He's back in the office a couple days a week now. He's been working a lot more um, out of the house, but this is a great color for him. So we're holding on to that. This sweater was one of the last things we picked up and Kim was an advocate for this. And then when I looked closely at it, I understood why. It's really cute. It's very boho. It has three sections of these ties that go down the front. And the brand is unfamiliar to me. Cliche is the name of the brand, but look at all this really pretty detailing. It's got like the Southwestern, like Aztec vibe to it, but look at the bottom is really pretty too. All this detail is very soft, kind of more lightweight than I think it's looking on camera. And I really like this detail too with um, the stitching there and it's hooded. I think it's a really great sweater. Thank you, Kimmy. She's such a good, 
Copilot. This is size medium and it's really pretty. I think that is going to sell fast. Um, this I grabbed because, as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos this month, I've had a couple comments about picking up items that are extra large and plus size. So I was focused on that today, although I didn't find a ton, but luckily a lot of the stuff that I got from that Macy's bins were was plus size. And this is just Alfani. It's just an extra large. Alfani, I believe, is a house brand at Macy's, if I'm not wrong, mistaken. Um, I thought this was pretty. A little v-neck. This is probably going to be like a $20 flip, maybe $18. Sheer on the sleeves and it has some cinching here, but just like your basic blouse. I feel like I own some Alfani th things. They make some nice stuff and it's a little ruched, like layered in the front. So I think that it's a flattering fit and it's longer in length. So all the things that I look for, I think this might be my last item here. This is Toad & Co, formerly known as Horny Toad. I can see why they changed the name of their company. It's Toad & Co, and I almost didn't grab this because I don't really love button-down shirts. Typically, I have to steam them, and they're kind of slow movers, but a lot of the comps on these were between $20 and $30, so I'm like, sure. And I feel like it's always nice to add to my men's department. Um, so that is everything. I think in the end, considering there were only two clothing rotations in the full time that we were there, so we, like I said, got there around quarter to 10. We took a break from probably quarter one until like 1 15 1 30. they were doing one hard goods rotation and they said that's going to be the last rotation of the day i find that this location i don't know what time they close like end of day close the doors but they do their last rotation usually before three o'clock from the few times that i've been there over the past couple of months like no later than four i mean they used to be open till seven or eight o'clock and they would still be doing rotations like at five and six but those days seem to be behind unless i'm just not there on those days um, but let me add everything up and we'll see how many items i got for under a hundred dollars all right one last thing i wanted to show you before we add everything up kim grabbed this and thought it would look nice in my house and she was right it's if you look at it this way it like swirls and it's all christmas trees and it's got this like antique looking metal i just think it's really pretty on a table you do a candle here here and here so i grabbed that for my house i added everything up and i have 55 items Three of the items though, I am not going to sell those shorts that were Angelina's, the Tommy Bahama shirt for Jay, and then this little Christmas tree thing here. So I spent $30 the first time, 56 the second time, so that means my total was $86. There is no sales tax in the state of New Hampshire. We have no sales tax on clothing in Massachusetts either. So $86 and I said 55, so divided by 52 that I'm gonna sell, three I'm gonna keep. My average cost of goods on this day was just $1.65, which is crazy. Now, granted, a lot of those items are from the, you know, the Macy stuff that won't sell for a lot of money. I have 52 items and I make $15 on each item profit. That's $780. So I'm pretty confident with that. So that should be a really great return for an $86 investment. It's always fun to see what I come home with from the bins. Always an adventure. I definitely think that this ruler is what took center stage today, this very unassuming ruler. I'm excited to clean it up and see what we can make on this. Uh, let me know if you've ever heard of this brand, if you've ever sold a brass ruler or anything like this. Share with me maybe something that has surprised you that you didn't see the value in it until you did a little bit of research. And that's why I really love the research part of what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. I release two videos every week and I'll be back soon with another video for you. Thank you guys. Love you. See you soon. Bye.